Hi, I'm Ron Beatty, and I've worked at CHS over the last decade. I currently lead the refined fuels teams responsible for pricing and economics. Over the past four years, our teams have been executing our business unit strategy by creating data-driven process improvements that allow our teams and supply chains to be connected through digital tools. In building these programs, our focus has been on anticipation, automation, and collaboration. We're working on methods to better anticipate our customers' future needs and simulating the supply chain to find that sweet spot to best meet those needs. Harnessing data-driven methods for prediction and then coordinating trading, refining, supply and distribution around delivering on those anticipated needs at the lowest cost. The end goal is to plan our supply so fuel is where our customers need it, when our customers need it. We're working to automate Instead of having our employees spend precious time and attention on simply finding and entering data, we're giving them tools to automate their processes. They're shifting administration time to more enriching parts of their day, analyzing the information to better understand the dynamics of the supply chain, to make better decisions, and to bring valuable insights to our internal teams and our customers and our owners. Finally, by using visualization tools, our team is better able to collaborate they're speaking the same language, sharing opportunities and issues with common sources of information. We're working in these tools across our areas of expertise and we're eliminating waste by collaborating in new and efficient ways. To showcase the digital supply chain in action, we'd like to share how a few individuals at CHS are implementing the data-driven tools and technologies across the refined fuel supply chain. Many of these solutions were created by the employees you'll hear from today. They identified the gap in their areas and created these tools to make their job more efficient and frankly, more rewarding. These individuals created efficiency, optimizing the supply chain and helping our customers make CHS their first choice. In some areas, we have transitioned our processes from lagging industry norms into the cutting edge of what can be done today. A lot of this work starts with the data modeling, so I'm going to send it over to Matt, who helped build our predictive demand models. Thanks, Ron. I'm Matt Hakerl, and I've worked at CHS for seven years. I'm using machine learning to help predict the diesel demand of our customers. One key area of focus is our number one winter diesel demand. In the past, we relied only on historical sales data to forecast demand, but number one demand is also dependent on temperature. Since no two winters are exactly the same, this made it hard to pinpoint when our customers would need fuel the most. To address this, we developed a machine learning model to forecast demand that, in addition to historical sales, considers 10-day temperature forecasts as well as longer range temperature outlooks. With this model in place, we can better understand not only how much number one diesel demand CHS will have, but when it will occur, ensuring that we can meet the fuel needs of our customers and owners. Next. Ben is going to talk about how he translates this model for our partners in refined fuels. Thanks, Matt. I'm Ben Ashbaugh, and I've worked at CHS for nine years. I take the output created by Matt's model and make it visual using Power BI. This helps the data become more easily used by our trading, supply, and account management groups. With these reports, groups can easily understand and collaborate on how to move supply to meet customers' needs. For example, in late winter 2021, there was an unexpected cold snap in our southern trade territory. Number one demand grew, and we were able to predict that demand and plan our supply accordingly because of our model. Our diesel traders benefited from the model during this time, so I'm going to hand it off to Daniel for more on how our trading group is using these models. Thank you, Ben. My name is Daniel Wenger. I'm a diesel trader, and I've been with CHS for the past six years. As our two CHS refineries in McPherson, Kansas and Laurel, Montana create diesel fuel, it's my job to ensure the production out of McPherson has a home. I use the number one diesel fuel prediction model to get an idea of when and where demand spikes may occur. This allows me to balance having enough inventory on hand to meet the needs of our customers with ensuring that we don't reach storage constraints that would limit refinery production. By using this model and getting supplied to the right area at the right time, Refined fuels saw record sales and increased margins in 2020. By optimizing our inventories and having a better idea of where prices are going, we can position ourselves as a premier diesel fuel supplier. And now I'm going to send it over to Austin, who created new ways to more accurately price our fuel. 
Thanks, Daniel. I'm Austin Robita, and I'm a pricing analyst within Refined Fuels. I've worked for CHS for over six years. In 2019, our group transformed our pricing process to an AI-powered platform using machine learning called Pros. This program predicts fuel market pricing dynamics to position CHS as a fuel supplier of choice. The program is fed by a robot named Herb. Herb automates all of the fuel market pricing dynamics we get to inform our decisions. We used to manually compile fuel market data from a number of sources two times a day. Now, Herb, in conjunction with Pros, allows us to process over 16,000 pieces of data in under 30 minutes. In comparison, our old process used to take about five hours and had a lot of mental math. With this technology, we're not only more efficient, but we're more accurate and better able to target our pricing strategies. And we're able to be nimble and adjust to market dynamics within minutes due to the tools and analytics we have through Pros. By utilizing this technology, we can more accurately understand and predict where the competition is going. This helps me guide our targets and allows me to have a more robust pricing strategy at the racks I serve. For our customers, this results in a more consistent and competitive price. Now, I'm going to send it over to Pam to talk more about how we utilize these tools to plan supply. Thanks, Austin. I'm Pam Toborg, and I've worked at CHS for a little over nine years. In my supply planning role, I use about a dozen digital tools to plan, schedule, supply, and monitor our gas, diesel, and premium products at both our refined fuels and partner terminals. Transparency across the teams in refined fuels is key to my role. With these tools, I can see across the complex supply chain not only to monitor and adjust inventories, but at any given time see what fuel is going where, when it will arrive, and how it's getting there, whether it's via pipeline, rail, truck, or barge. Basically, I use a refined fuels models to ensure that the right products are at the right terminals at the right time. Not too long ago, before these models were in place, it could take hours to find and gather the right data to help me understand our supply situation within our network. Now, I have that information readily available in nearly real time, so I can spend more time analyzing the data and strategizing with the team, which includes account managers like Carrie Gallo, who you'll hear from next. Carrie will explain how she's using these tools to make sure we're serving our customers with a reliable supply of fuel. Thanks, Pam. I'm Carrie Gallo, and I've worked at CHS for 30 years. I'm an account manager covering Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, Oregon, and Washington. And it's my job to make sure my customers have the fuel they need to supply their owners and customers. I work with my customers to forecast their needs and make sure their demand is something we can supply without interruption. With the tools developed by our team, I have the right information at my fingertips to answer customer questions and help them plan for demand changes, such as if they have a new customer to supply. Next, Matt is going to talk about a tool our team developed to help our customers better understand pricing for the end user. Thanks, Carrie. Hi, my name is Matt Menarchek. I've been with CHS for six years. Currently, I'm a senior account manager in our refined fuels team. Our team developed a tool called MarketSite, which helps fuel buyers make more informed local purchasing decisions with near real-time fuel pricing information. MarketSite was developed because we saw a gap for our customers. In a lot of cases, our local cooperatives would get visual market or pricing information from CHS, but they didn't really know how to relay that to their customers. So we developed MarketSite, and it's a first-of-its-kind tool within the industry. This tool is accessible to our customers in our refined fuels control room. And in this tool, our customers are able to see their historical local Senex branded fuel prices as well as forward contract prices offered through CHS. Where MarketSite adds value is that it creates the connections to allow fuel suppliers to add their pricing information such as freight, margin, or even taxes and work across a number of visual scenarios so that their end user customers can now better understand how the market impacts their local fuel prices. The result is that, for example, a farmer in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, working with their local cooperatives can now use MarketSite to help them make data-driven, informed purchasing decisions based on their own local markets. And now, Sabah is going to share how we get fuel to the farm gate. 
Thanks, Matt. Hi, I am Sabah Kimian. I worked here at CHS over eight and a half years, leading the logistics team in our CHS Transportation and Logistics Business Unit. Our business unit includes the Senex Automated Fuel Delivery Business Segment. This business segment has served our customers for over 20 years, delivering 138 million gallons of premium Senex products to 27,000 tanks in the most recent fiscal year. Using cellular and satellite technology, we receive tank level information. This tank level information is then converted into orders, and those orders are prioritized based on tank levels. Our logistics team members using route optimization and dispatch execution technology uh, create the most efficient and optimal routes based on volume, time, and distance. These routes are then electronically dispatched to our in-cap technology and driver tablets. Each driver sees the sequence of their deliveries on these optimal routes. This technology allows us to visualize and track our trucks in real time. In addition, it helps us manage our drivers send critical engine data for predictive maintenance and remain compliant with DOT regulations. Our skilled logistics team members maximize the number of gallons, minimize the number of deliveries, providing premium Senex products to our farmer owners in the most efficient way. And now Cheryl will discuss the collaboration between energy and IT to bring all these systems together. Thanks, Sabah. Hello, I'm Cheryl Greening. I worked in CHS IT for almost six years supporting our energy business. We started our journey to optimize analytic technology across CHS Energy over four years ago. All the tools you've heard about are examples along the way of our journey to be leaner and more collaborative while working to predict our customer needs. You've heard examples of data mining, predictive modeling, and machine learning to make our teams more efficient and to serve our customers. Tools like Power BI help our team leverage data in their sales processes and help our customers have more information at their fingertips. These projects begin as a collaborative effort between CHS Energy and IT. We start by identifying opportunities and creating our A3s. Our data engineers then add the structured and unstructured data to the data lake. We then begin the process of making this more consumable for their use. We've trained our employees so they can create their own dashboards and robots to automate these processes. This move to self-service has really empowered our employees and given them a lot of control to see trends, what-if scenarios, and get data in a much more efficient way. This provides more time for analysis to enhance decision-making to address market changes quickly. As we gain more insights into our data, we will continue to gain even more efficiencies into our supply chain, increase sales, and continue to make CHS a first choice for customers.